Hi everyone, welcome to Zavaras. In the previous video, we have created a Spring plus Angular application and we have initialized it with Spring Security. So we just added the Spring Security dependency and we were able to get a login form whenever we try to access our Angular app. Now, in this video, uh, we will continue working on that application only. So, uh, there are many ways we can uh, customize the Spring security uh, to make to meet our needs. So, uh, instead of using the default form authentication, uh, which obviously we don't want, uh, we can create our um, custom uh, login and registration forms. We can use that. And there are many more things like uh, uh, in the uh, upcoming videos. I will explain how to replace this authentication mechanism with OAuth to authentication to allow the users to sign in with uh, Google, Facebook, or uh, many other auth providers. So that's for the later. But what we are going to do in this video is uh, we are going to replace that basic form based authentication with basic authentication. Now. What does the basic authentication means? So, uh, for example, uh, whenever we visit any page, so instead of uh, displaying a login form, it will uh, display pop up like alert where it will ask for username and password. And instead of sending the uh, authorization information in cookie, it will send it in authorization headers, which we will see in action. So, first of all, I am in Spring Angular <coughs> uh, front end server. Uh, I think this is the wrong project. So, yeah, so we are working on this Spring Angular security. So, this is our folder, and here I can see we have. A front end directory which is our app where we are working i will open this front end in intellij idea so file open and this one this front end open first project this window so it will open the project the maven will take some time to resolve all the dependencies that's fine so now let's uh, start the server i'll go to source or yeah source main java this one let's start it in debug mode So I think yeah, application has just started on port eight zero eight one, and uh, if we go to application dot properties, we have specified port eight zero eight one. So that's why it's running on port eight zero eight one, and we have specified the default username and password as well. So if we go to the this URL, localhost eight zero eight one. We have sign in page here. We can inspect it. And we are able, able to log in. What now? Yeah. We are getting this error. Uh, no explicit mapping for error. Uh, maybe, maybe because if we go to target. Yeah, classes there is no static directory because we have not built angular application so let's do that so go to front end and i can say mvnw 100 resources 
it will download node npm all the npm packages maven dependencies and it will build the angular application and it will put the output of angular application in this folder target classes static you can see here so the build is success now we need to i think restart the spring app Restart it now. Let's refresh Java Rust Pass. So we can see Angular app here. And how how it is working? I have already explained in the previous video, which is this one. And the code you can find in this GitHub repository. So I will put the link in the description. So I won't go into that detail. Now let's instead of that form based authentication, we want to convert it to basic as basic authentication. And in the production or in the real life, you should never do that. So let's, uh, uh, but we just want to learn that how to configure Spring security. So that's why we are doing it. So for that, we need to create a class or uh, we can even annotate this with other configuration but uh, we want to uh, maintain this application so uh, so we will create another separate class to have all the configuration related to security so here i will create a new class this class will be inside a package which is config config dot security config and I will annotate this class with configuration configuration okay. if, you, if you want to learn more like how to configure HTTP security there is this documentation this one so I will put the link in the description. You can read more from there. This is a great documentation. Now I will go here. Now to configure the Spring Security, you need to create a bin. I will create a method which will provide a bin to Spring Container, and the type of bin should be filter chain. So as you can see in this documentation, here security filter chain. So I will create public method filter chain you can give it any name it doesn't matter and it will take http security let's call it http and at the end we need to return http dot build and it throws error so let's add throws to method declaration and here we need to configure the security so let's do that let's say http dot http basic okay but before that let's do dot authorize http request now here we need to Here we need to add the criteria for requests. Like first uh, the pattern of the request. I will say oz dot any request. That means for any kind of request, I want the request to be authenticated. I will say dot any request dot authenticated. So now Spring will want every request to be authenticated. And I want to use basic authentication that means HTTP basic and it needs a customizer so we can use default customizer so I will say customizer dot with defaults that means don't change in the customization use the default customizer 
or don't use any customizer at all let me turn off the notification so it won't customize uh, anything for basic authentication it will use the default basic authentication so that's it now let's refresh the application now if you go here again and restart it you can see now instead of um, getting a form now we are getting a pop-up to fill username and password so if this doesn't look familiar to you we can open in firefox firefox or chrome any browser it will be alert alert dialog i will show you so closed right yeah this this pop up so here we can provide the username and password and sign in so don't save you can see we have the angular app here but i will use this this browser so i will refresh it again put the username here password here and click on sign in so we are getting the angular app here now let's see how it's actually working move it the bottom network and pressure low here go to local host at zero at one and we can see this is the request local host this status code is 401 which means uh, unauthenticated now in the response header we have authenticated and its value is basic so whenever the value of this this header is basic in that case browser will open a pop-up with username and password field so if we put username javaras and this is password and you can see in the request header we were not sending any usable information click on sign in now in the local host in this to the local host we are sending some information in the request header which is authorization now in the authorization we are sending this basic and then this string if you see in the preview we are not sending anything else we are not sending in any payload all the information related to authentication is this one only where was it in the request header yeah this authorization basic and then uh, and then this string so we are sending this with every request so with this request if we go to the next request also we are sending this basic this one so with all the requests we are sending this now what does this mean so this means basically this is basic uh, this is a, a hard coded word basic space and then this contains the information about username and password and how to get that so first so let's go to this console here okay. so our username was our so put this like put it like this username and our password was pass and put this colon between username and password and convert it to s64 which is i think uh, BTOA, I guess in JavaScript you can use BTOA. You can see this is a string, and 
if you have this string and you want to get get back like for example event we go we want to see what is the original string you can use i guess get your function so let's see yeah you can see java is colon pass <coughs> that's how you can convert username and password to base 64 string and pass it in authorization header that's how basic authentication works thank you everyone bye